with some work to do at two and five. And Jeremiah Martin tried to steal the inbounds. Interested to see the kind of energy that Ignite comes out with after playing. This being the second of a back-to-back, -back, playing a game yesterday. That's a good start, though. Reggie Perry on the inside. Credit him the bucket. It's interesting what his mission in the G League is, Rebecca, as Jalen Green knocks down a three. Martin working his way inside, and that is Perry rolling that one in for his second bucket. I've taken the three-point shot and elected not to. The first time he passed out of it, that time right there, he took it in a little closer. I like that decision-making. Johnson will take a three and knock it in. Set your daily alarm for 255. Into Kaminga and one. Nicely drawn up play. Also a place where he mentored current Long Island net, Jeremiah Martin, who was on a two-way two deal with Brooklyn last year. Slicing in is Bowden after missing a couple of threes. Jalen Green on the pull-up, sticks it. Green is there for Isaiah Todd. In and out. Getting it back for the slam on ESPN2. Down the lane, oftentimes that will be open. It was there. Bowden again. Johnson has his ups. <laughs> you gotta recalibrate, not everybody's 19 with hops, right? He may have had him when he was 19. <laughs> have Todd as part of the second unit with the, the veteran Amir Johnson. Todd on the baseline falling away, and that's become his calling card. It's Bowden knocking down Todd. See right here, and it's he likes going over that left shoulder. He's got just enough of a fade. He can get the shot off. Here's Todd fading away. Splash. And you saw him. He started with his right shoulder. Uh-uh. A replay of earlier in the game. You're on the left block. It looks like he's going to spin over the right shoulder. Uh-uh. But to your point before the break, just no hesitation, just commitment to the decision making there. Yeah. You can watch guys and just the way their body moves or how they are when they catch the basketball. Shot clock down to five. Reggie Perry catch and shoot for three. Working against Jack. Martin left handed gets it to fall. Certainly, and you, you know, as a player, you just try to control what you can control, and that's how you play every day in practice and in games. Nice shot there by Scott. The Nets roll out their starters to begin the second quarter. One of them is Reggie Perry. He's on the take right around Jesse Govan for two. That one a little bit of a force by Todd. We'd like to see Ignite move the ball around a little bit better. Coming off of a game, nice drive. Coming off a game where Ignite had 34 assists. Govan nice. had it slapped away, picked it up, and scored. <laughs> Jeremiah Martin on the dish to Perry. It was a really good decision by him. Break down the defense, but then leave the pass for Perry. Poor Ignite shooting continuing, but there is Govan on the offensive glass. The part we're watching right now extremely well in terms of nice cut and finish. Um, Seven points, four rebounds for Brandon Ashley. Thrown to the rim. Owens teed up by Scott. There's Green. Yeah. Drills a three. Wide open for Bowden. He knocks it in. In my language. <laughs> I always have a chat with the official scorer. You know, that turnover was on the other guy. The floater for Martin. Taken on the defense. His shot was blocked by Johnson near the cylinder. Oh. 
Zestina. I thought you had your 255 alarm set. I do. Dante Hall. Bobby Brown baseline. Here's Green into the paint, hanging. Oh, Jalen Green. And the fact that Green was diverted off his original path, but still finished with ease is just so impressive looking. Johnson, end of shot clock. BJ Johnson, 10th best scorer in the league into double figures. The follow, Dante Hall cleaning it up for Ignite. Eliminated the Johnson attempt, now it's up to Kaminga. Jonathan Kaminga, fade away. Gets the bounce. Kaminga pump fakes. Jalen Green is open. He sticks it. Lobbed for Perry. <laughs> Beautiful feed to set up Perry. It came from Jeremiah Martin. His head coach, Brett Bromeyer, had this great quote. The lob to Hall. And one. Just two of seven from the field. Johnson, good looking stroke. Now it's Martin against Kaminga. Goes right around him on a straight line drive. That's off the mark for Green. Didn't even hit the rim. It leads to the run out. Reggie Perry underneath, a slam and a scream. Jack crossing over, and he cans that one. Hearn kicks it out to Ashley, who steps into a three, and Ignite finally gets one to drop from deep. Both of them getting recalled to the San Antonio Spurs, and just like that, one of the league's top teams without two of its best players. Brandon Ashley rips it away and puts it in. Teams at the top of the standings gain reinforcements. They don't lose their best players, but that could happen in the G League. Yeah, I mean, that's why so much of it is about de player development, getting guys ready for the next level. Can't always just be about wins and losses. You want to see them compete hard every day, but you never know what your roster is going to look like in the next game. Trey Jones leading the league in assists. If the problem essentially is the length of the game, just shorten the game. <laughs> Thrown up to Dante Hall. Season, I want the Rebecca Lobo, you know, pace of play procedure initiative <laughs> to be complete. Hall after his own miss, such a force inside. Knicks into the post using his size. That's blocked by Owens. Jordan Bowden takes it on the run. Boundless energy whipped inside. Owens, one more Sestina. Nate Gates gets the easy lay-in thanks to the terrific ball movement. Owens on the deck, scoops it up. Johnson lobbing it up for Bowden. And definitely at times looking like the fresher team. Kaiser Gates, bring it up. Hearn in the corner. That's off the rim. Getting it back on the cut, staying active and located by Johnson. Jack lost it, numbers the other way. Martin will take it in and a chance for three. You live with that knowing it's a dead ball turnover off of something they were trying to create unselfishly? No, I, I don't think you lead your big man with that pass there. <laughs> Saw this for a possession in the first half as well out of Long Island going to a zone defense. Jonathan Kaminga, his first points since the halftime break. 
Inside Hall, kick out Green, feet set, Jalen Green splashes down a triple. Into Hall, Green the cut on the baseline. Green has continued to improve through every game in terms of his efficiency. But I've been really impressed with that young man, not only on the offensive end. We heard Long Island tending to break, saying that they should not settle on the offensive end. They didn't there. And I got to imagine it's harder when there are no fans in the stands, yeah. too. But even more important, Cody Demps on the take. 6.45 to go in regulation. Pocket pass to Owens. Owens has been assaulting the basket. Jalen Green now four for five from deep. As they try to close out their third win of the year. Martin probing and scoring. Great job, he got his defender on his hip and didn't let him get away, get around. Jalen Green continues his hot shooting. Kaiser Gates, too strong on the answer. It's down to Owens in the baby hook. Martin, underneath, finding Perry. Another double-double for Dante Hall. Another bucket for Jeremiah Martin. Big day on the NBA calendar tomorrow as 10-day contracts become available. Perhaps Jeremiah Martin is playing his way into one of them. Twelve teams have open roster spots. Yeah, that's a uh, global understanding, yeah. yeah. Second year as an experimental rule in the G League. Brandon Ashley lays it in. It was sliced to four. Long Island made a quick 4-0 run to get it to eight. Part of learning the process of being a pro is taking care of your body when it's tired, sore. Dacian Nix lays it in. Final 10 seconds, G League Ignite will have an off day tomorrow. Jalen Green will spend part of it with Rachel Nichols as Jalen will join the jump tomorrow at 3 Eastern on ESPN.